Good morning, everybody, and happy Easter. I'm out at the track. I'm getting ready to warm up and uh, actually have a 400 meter time trial on my schedule for today. And then an additional seven more after that for the workout. Um, but I got to get my time down. As I told one of my athletes the other day, he runs a 50 for the 400. And I said, Yeah, I'm going to do a time trial this weekend. I'm going to try and break 65. And he looked at me and he goes, Eh, that's all right, coach. Uh, and I just sort of laughed and I was like, yeah, I know it's, it's old man running, right? But on Easter, we celebrate, uh, Christ rising from the dead, his resurrection and, uh, our ability to get to heaven through that resurrection and belief in Jesus. And so what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do? And what I've decided to do is uh, follow the passion and, and calling that he's given me in helping people with their health and nutrition and fitness. And by using the gifts that he's given me, which is running on this track, he's given me the gift to be able to do that. And as my coach told me in high school, he said, if you've got the ability to do something like running, you have to do it to the utmost of your ability because there's people in the world that can't. And so you have to do your best. Your best may not be world class, national class. It may not even be like the best in your city of 13,000 people. That's okay. It's You've gotten a gift. He's given you something. He wants you to use it to help not promote yourself, promote him. And so that's what I'm trying to do with it, is trying to promote him through the gifts and abilities that he's given me. Uh, so I got to go get warmed up and get this thing going. I planned it luckily. Uh, well, I say luckily, but God gave me the God gave me the gift of today. I was supposed to do it on Friday, but it was windy and cold. And right now it's about 60 degrees and there is no wind at all. So God said he wants me to do it this morning. So I'm going to go out there and try and break a 65 for an old distance man running a 400. We'll talk to you all later. I'll, I'll update Facebook with uh, a post on how fast it actually was once I get done.